So Claire, how long have you been looking for an opportunity to volunteer? Uh, probably for the best part of a year now. Uh, it's been a bit of a slow process because uh, trying to find an organisation that I felt comfortable with didn't happen very easily. And what's been your experience of people and places? What made you choose people and places rather than something else? Uh, I did an awful lot of googling to find out about uh, what volunteer organisations were out there. Then I contacted a number, having sort of tried to filter through and sieve that down a bit. Uh, but some of the responses I got from some of the other organisations that were suggesting that I would go out and find out what I fancied doing when I got out there, and maybe actually I found out that I was a good bricklayer, even though I'd never tried bricklaying before, so there was no point uh, deciding ahead of time what I did, and I asked whether there were particular needs in different communities that would need to be met, and wouldn't they need certain numbers of certain people, and they said, oh no, 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 it doesn't work like that, you, you go out there and you just do whatever you fancy doing, really, and it just didn't quite ring true to me. Did you hear that a lot? That type of thing I heard a lot, yes. Uh, um, and uh, I can't say I'd got quite to giving up, but I was getting a bit demoralised by, by the process because I was beginning to feel the only way I could volunteer in a useful way would be with something like VSO and then I'd have to commit a full year 